And then looks like they don't have much of anything again. Oh wait, yeah, they do have a new battle pack. This is series 18. I haven't seen this yet. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the new video here on Rain Review. And for today's video, I am bringing you guys another toy hunt. It is currently about to be 7 in the morning. The target that I'm about to go to opens up exactly at 7. And there's a lot of scalpers usually at this target in the morning, so... Hopefully they don't beat me to the good stuff. Today's goal is to find the greatest hits Brooker T because I still have not found that figure surprisingly. And I'm also trying to find series two of the Ninja Turtle wave. So hopefully we find it today. Like I told you guys, this target usually has a bunch of people in the morning. I don't know if you guys can tell, there's like four other guys behind those poles right there. And they just opened up guys and I already saw a bunch of people running in, but I'm just gonna chill because I don't really need any figures today. I rarely come to this target, so I'm not really sure what to expect. And they have an end cap but it's empty and of course they don't have much of anything like always sadly they just have the same old legends that they always have but they're 16 bucks here and that's i'm not gonna pay 16 bucks for that i would much rather get the six dollar deal but they don't have it here unfortunately guys this target was a fail like always so now we're gonna head over to the next stop i'm not surprised guys this target rarely ever has anything that's why I don't really come to this Target. But now we're gonna head over to the Target that I always go to. All right guys, so we are almost at the next Target and like every video, I always ask you guys a quick question. And today's question of the day is, if you could meet any WWE superstar, who would you wanna meet? I personally would probably wanna meet Edge or Jeff Hardy or RBD because those are my top three favorite wrestlers of all time. So let me know in the comment section down below what WWE superstar you would wanna meet. We are here at the next stop. We are here at this Target. I come to this Target like every toy hunt because this Target usually has a lot of good stuff. And it is Sunday, so there's going to be some scalpers today. And surprisingly, they're not here yet. All right, guys. While I'm waiting outside for the Target to open up, there's always the same scalper that always comes here in an orange car. So we're going to wait and see if he comes today. What did I tell you, guys? Orange car is here. Luckily, he just comes for Hot Wheels. That way, we don't have a worry about somebody else trying to buy wrestling figures. Everyone's starting to go up to the door now, so I'm going to go there, too. Hopefully, they have Series 2 of the Ninja Turtles wave. But if they don't, that's fine because we're going to go to Walmart after this. And they're finally opening the store for us. Someone has to tell that man to chill out that we're not here for the Hot Wheels, we're here for the WWE figures. So we are here at the wrestling figures now, and it looks like they don't have much of anything again. They just have the same old legends that they always have. Hulk Hogan, Jamal, they are $6 though, so that's a pretty great deal. They have Big Bubba Rogers, they have the Chase one, they have two of the Chase ones. I might actually buy them just because it's a Chase one. And I already have the normal one that I bought yesterday, so I think I am going to buy them because $6 is a great deal. But it doesn't look like they're gonna have much of anything else. They have two of the SmackDown 4 packs, a Lucha Lowrider, my favorite place by far. They have this end cap here, but it doesn't seem like they have anything on it. I kind of want to take the end cap home, so I think I'm gonna ask an employee and see if I could take it home. I'm not sure if I could just take it and ask somebody at the register and see if I could take it home. It is zip tied though. So I'm going to need somebody to cut it for me, but I'm going to go ask an employee and see what I can do about this. Okay, so I just asked if I could take it home and unfortunately they told me that I couldn't. But I am going to come back next week for it because they're eventually going to get rid of it. So I'm going to take it home one day. I just browsed around every single aisle to see if I could find anything hidden. And unfortunately I couldn't find anything else. I guess this is the only figure that I'm going to buy. So it looks like that's about it for the wrestling figure. So now we're going to head over to the next stop. I never thought that I would end up buying this figure because I was never going to pay $22 for it, but $6 is a steal. All right, guys, so I just bought the figure. $7 total. That's a pretty good deal because the original price is $23. I read your guys' comments and all of you guys told me to get the top picks figure possibly signed. So I'm going to go return this Elite 111 Cody Rhodes because I don't really need it. It's been successful, guys. They refunded me my $25. This Target didn't really have anything much today, but now we're going to head over to the next stop. All right, guys, we are here at the next stop now. We are here at walmart this is the same walmart where i found the new ultimate edition the rock and batista so let's see if they have some new figures for us today so i did come toy hunting yesterday so it's only been a day since i've been here so hopefully they stocked up with new figures overnight but i'm not too sure if they're gonna do that guys we have the same orange car from that other target that's crazy this walmart usually never disappoints me so hopefully that's the case again today we are almost at the wrestling figures and they should be right over here and it looks like they have the ultimate edition batista that they had yesterday i'm surprised nobody has bought this figure yet they have an ultimate edition bret hart another one they have the same old elites that they always have oscar otis oscar candice larray i'm going to skip all of these because they always have the same stuff here they have the topics gunter gunter roman gunter roman roman Rey mysterio i kind of want to buy this figure but i don't want to buy him yet they have a gunter a roman 
Ray, Gunther. We have an AEW Supreme Sting. I'm still debating on buying this figure or not because I don't really buy AEW figures. I'm not gonna lie though, this figure is pretty sick. I like the shirts that it comes with. I like that he comes with a leather jacket. Well, it's not, it's not real leather, of course, but it's like a cloth material jacket. These face scans are pretty cool too. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's see what else they have. They have another one down here. They have another one. They have the plushies. Cody Rhodes plushie. Let's see what they have back here. They have the Supreme Sting hidden again. Nobody has came to buy that yet. They have the Maya Via 3 pack. And it looks like that's gonna be it for the wrestling figures here today. So I'm gonna go look at the horror aisle and then after that, we're gonna head over to the next stop. And it looks like they haven't stocked up with anything new. I mean, this saw figure is pretty sick, but I already have him, so I'm gonna pass on him again. And besides that, it doesn't look like they have much of anything else that I haven't seen yet. So yeah, we're gonna head over to the next stop and we're gonna see what they have over there. Unfortunately, guys, this Walmart let me down today, but we're gonna head over to a different Walmart and we're gonna see what they have over there. We're about to get to the next stop. This next stop, I haven't been to this Walmart in like almost a month because they never have anything. Like they always have the same old Elite 108. So hopefully between that month that I didn't come here, they stocked up on new stuff. Every single time that I come here, they always have the same old Elite 108, Brock Lesnar, LA Knight, the same old figures as always. So hopefully they have Elite 109 this time at least because I want to get another Cody Rhodes. And hopefully they have some new Ultimate Edition figures too. Guys, why is John Cena driving this cleaning machine? I've never seen this. We are here at the wrestling figures now and it looks like they have the AEW Supreme Sting here. I'm getting so many hints that I should buy this figure but I'm not sure yet. I'm not gonna lie though, they are kind of running low on Elite 108 so they're probably gonna stock up eventually. And it looks like Gunther, Omos, it looks like that's about it for the Elites. AJ, Seth, AJ, 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 Seth for the basics, Candice LeRae, same old elites that they always have. They have this very old Big E figure. Someone stole the belt though. Who's in this wave? Oh, they have Eddie Guerrero in this wave. If they would have had Eddie Guerrero, I would have bought that immediately. But obviously, they're not going to have him anymore. Let's see what else they have. They have this same old figure that they always have that no one's going to buy. And it looks like that's going to be it for the rest of the wrestling figures. They only have a Maya Via 3 pack. Up there, they have... I think they have... They have Muhammad Ali and they have two Muhammad Ali's. I passed on this figure last time that I saw him here and I'm still not going to get it just because I'm not really into these figures, but they do look pretty sick. But it looks like that's going to be it for the wrestling figure. So now we're going to head over to the next stop. This Walmart let me down again. I never really find any good figures there anymore. Well, lately I have been finding a lot of good figures, but the thing is I already have all the figures that I find, which is why there's nothing that I want to buy. But let me know in the comment section down below if your guys' stores are stacked because mine are, I, I would say my stores are pretty average. So this next store that we're gonna go to is Walmart again. This Walmart rarely ever has anything. I think it's worse than the other Walmart that I just went to. And we have now made it to the next stop. We are here at Walmart. Guys, before I go in there, I'm gonna predict that there's gonna be the same old basic Charlotte and Damian Priest. I don't really expect to find anything at this Walmart because they never have anything, but let's see what they have today. Guys, we have a new member of the Judgment Day. The purple bandana. Like I said earlier, it is a Sunday today, so I'm very surprised that there's not a lot of people. Let's see what they have today. And it looks like they don't have much of anything again. Oh wait, yeah, they do have a new battle pack. This is series 18. I haven't seen this yet. This is main event showdown. Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio, although I don't really like that Rhea Ripley. I think they did her pretty dirty with this figure. But it's pretty cool to see that they have new figures here. Oh, they also have Braun Breaker and Seth Rollins. It looks like somebody tried stealing the belt and they failed. Who else is in the set? They also have Kane and Mankind. I'm glad to see that they're stocking up with new stuff. But for the rest of the figures, they just have the same old figures as always. The same old basics that nobody's gonna buy. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Damian Priest, Charlotte, Charlotte more Damian Priest. I personally think they should put all of these figures on clearance because let's be honest guys, nobody's gonna buy these anytime soon. They don't have any more figures here. They just have these kit belts. They have the Maya Via 3 pack. They have four of them. Oh, actually they have five of them back. They have one more back there. But it looks like they don't have much of anything else here. So 
I think we're gonna head over to a different store. We're gonna see what they have over there. All right, guys. So this Walmart didn't have anything, and I don't think I'm gonna go to any more stores just because I already went to the other Target in my city. So I think I'm just gonna go home now, and we're gonna discuss today's toy hunt. All right, everybody. So we are back home now. Today's toy hunt wasn't really that good. I didn't really find any figures that I wanted. I mean, the Ultimate Edition Batista figure that I did see at Walmart is very sick, but I already have him, as you guys can see back there. I got all of these figures in my previous toy hunt, but today's purchase was only this Chase. Big Bubba Rogers because I have the regular one over there and I wanted to get the Chase 2 because it was only $6 so that's a great deal. I wanted to remind you guys that I do have a giveaway announcement on September 22nd so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and let me know in the comment section down below what figure you guys want me to give away for that giveaway. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day and I will see you guys in the next one.